Hi, Pisces. This is your November Scorpio season reading. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below, as well as the extended version to this reading, which will be in a Patreon link below. I do believe they are very worth it if you want to check those out. But let's get into your reading. There's a lot of cards that just fell out. All right. It looks like we have something to share with you here. This season coming into it may feel very heavy on your head. You may be wondering how to break through. How does this change? How does this shift? You're finally ready to, about a little bit into the month, you're finally ready to observe. You kind of have no choice but to observe because whatever happened is out of your control and as much as you could control you are finally in the process of letting it go and accepting whatever you're going through in your current reality. It's now at a point where your nervous system can now relax. Whatever is presenting itself to be new is a part of this newer um, attitude that you're taking on. There... It also is guiding you more into your spiritual nature. Maybe back to something you haven't explored in a while. Maybe it's been years. But the power is going to lie in how willing you are to receive this time. What does that mean? Well, it's about being clear with what you're going for in order to stay really focused on in that direction. What happens from there is that you've learned how to you've learned how to provide what you provide. You've learned a lot. You have a lot of knowledge to share. And there's a part of you that wants to there will always be this itch where you want to go off away from whatever organization or job, whatever it is that you are currently doing more of a day-to-day -day, or it's mainly what you're out here doing. You wanna break free from the traditional structure. We can also put it that way. You'll have very clear ideas the more that you are receptive and learn to take a beat and relax, um, take time this month to be with yourself, to understand what it takes to process what you're processing. At first, whatever it is was very emotional and now you feel a little less attached, which provides the perfect, the perfect time to have realizations that's in those moments is when those things can come through especially if you are an overthinker whatever you take away from this whatever you learn from the space that you're in is really what is going to drive you forward so regardless if you can't yet move on in the way that you physically want to move on it's how you're mentally and emotionally now moving on or taking what you've learned and running with it that will bring you towards a lot more abundance. That is a clear structure you can tell yourself and live by. There may also may be someone in your life who is trying to come into it, make a move, um, offer stability, offer maybe even status. This could be exactly what you want. And wouldn't you want to get there? Wouldn't you want to be there in a very, very balanced emotional state? Things are going to shift. But there is that clarity that's still needed, right? There's a gray area that we all have in our lives and where yours is, you're needing to pay attention to that. Wherever 
this opportunity or these maybe these multitude of opportunities is taking you, you will have the strength. It will combat any doubt maybe that you've had of yourself or any confrontation or overthinking or any of those times where you felt slightly unsure perhaps of what the road you're going down because whatever is being created especially subconsciously you're consciously aligning with what you need now it looks like you have a lot of receptive moments with big also yet big clear moments big moments of clarity re realizations whatever you want to call them and your the responsibility that you take on you realized over the past month what feels good on you what role makes sense for you what you are good at how you are able to in one way be with what is while also absorbing feeling being someone who knows that they are that their independence and their worth is just as strong as the people around them right maybe you're taking a look and taking a check at that right now because It's this abundant way of being that sometimes can get us down because it whatever we're visualizing, whatever, we, whatever you may imagine for yourself, it's not like necessarily here, right? In this physical present moment. But if you looked around for it, I'm sure you'd find it somewhere. When you go out, when you, whatever it is that you do, allowing yourself or on TV, allowing yourself to be guided by that, maybe not necessarily always consciously, but if you put that out there and then you find yourself running into more of these moments where you get to witness that, which expands your vision for it, your knowledge for it, your understanding for that, for what it is that you maybe have been looking for. This will propel you, right? There might be some people in your life that want to also, there might be some someone or a person in your life that f feels like they are a blockage in the way. It's important not it's important to find compassion in this time, especially when you come into a time where you're doing and you're feeling much better. Regardless if your situation has changed drastically, it's more about how you personally are feeling and being in your present life. While also addressing those very real topics when it's really important but doing your best to find the balance of what's going on internally and externally, what's going on through the worlds right now of yourself and as you move in the world around you. The self-awareness this month is very heightened for you. Um, and someone may, not so unexpected, but kind of expected is going to present to you maybe wanting to change their position with you. So if you've been seeing someone or you've been talking about something with someone in terms of business or creating or connecting together, I do think for a lot of you this is about love. That relationship may, either relationship is going to take, go to the next level or that will be presented. You have the option to go to the next level with that, which will be very fortunate for you and there will still be a way in which you need to find how to navigate the conversation about how this changes the dynamic at all, or that may come up regardless. And it will put to ease some of the questions maybe you have had. Again, just repeating that, you again, are coming back to this place by the end of the month where you're kind of balancing working with and for people and being your own person and having your own stream of income. I think right now that is like the perfect place for you to be. Um, while you can enjoy what you have in community, maybe you look at it that way as well as 
what you have on your own and how good you feel on your own and how they each can feed each other. Uh, Venus will move into Libra on the 8th and that will make it very clear and you'll maybe even feel a lot better about the decisions that you made. Come in, it will come into a more of a smoothness for you. Again, a sense of calmness for you. But yet, you know, it's big decisions. Big things have changed in the beginning of the month. But towards the middle and the end, you'll find it to be, from the cards, a lot easier to navigate. A lot more... A lot more love. <laughs> Maybe it's just that something real has entered your life in a way that your heart can, in this feeling, in this sense that you have from each other, not that we want it to be like an addiction or like a drug, but you know how love can be, depending. But this one feels stable. Everything in your life will start to feel more stable by the end of the month. Because there's something that really clicked with you the past month and it's really going to make that full click by the time Venus enters Libra, which is very soon. It's on the 8th. So around that time, you're, you may feel even more magnetic, like you want to reach out to people. You may feel ex find expansion in both the enjoyment you have at the one place with the community um, and yet very empowered and worthy in the place where you're on more independent in yourself you just feel like there's a full life going on around you and you are just feeling so overwhelmed possibly in the beginning of the month and right before and that towards the end of the month you almost feel like oh wow that really did change a, like a slightly more drastic and quick than maybe you would have assumed so you may be approached also by different people during this time, just so you know. Maybe more opportunities, lots of work opportunities too and how you feel when you are just going different places this month will give you that extra boost in energy for when you do interact with people. Um, it doesn't have to be somewhere out. Doesn't You don't have to push yourself to do anything you don't want to do. You may just find these interactions just happening during your day-to-day. -day, and that will be... And then this love connection seems like it's one of the biggest proponents. Not just because it's you two, but it's like... Um, it's the way you both feel and how lucky you feel to have each other that perpetuates that energy in your life. It just extends all around. You know? Yeah. Very empowering month for you. Nothing too crazy. As long as you're willing to do it, what it is what you need to do and be uh, very honest with yourself at this time. You may be very focused and some people won't understand that. That's okay. Have a great rest of your month, Pisces, and we'll see you next, next time. <laughs>